10 things you must know if you are considering Japan for higher education. I am Deepthi Singh, your admissions counsellor for Japanese universities. In today's video, I am going to tell you 10 things that you must know before you decide that you are going to pursue your higher education in Japan. Number one is the language barrier. So we get these questions all the time. If you need to do Japanese to apply to Japanese universities, is the course going to be in English or in Japanese, etc. etc. So just to make it clear to you, you don't need any Japanese proficiency to apply to English medium courses in Japan. So Japan has plenty of universities which now offer English based programs. These courses can be in undergraduate, masters as well as PhD level. And these courses, these English courses are now available in sciences, humanities, business in all fields. So if you are applying to an English track program, you need not know any Japanese to apply to Japanese universities. But yes, of course, since you are going to live in Japan while you are a student and if you are going to work in Japan, if that is your plan, I highly recommend that you do uh, get some Japanese proficiency either before you go to Japan or you can take Japanese as a part of the curriculum. So most universities will offer Japanese as a part of the curriculum and you can learn it there also. Second is about cost of living. Japan is infamous. Most people think it is a very expensive country. Yes, it could be expensive in some aspects, but let me tell you, for students, Japan is very affordable. You'll be surprised, there are special discounts for students uh, as far as most facilities are concerned. Of course, uh, there will be expenses. For example, the renters are going to be more expensive if you are living in Tokyo or any other such big city, Tokyo or Osaka. But in other cities, if you are going there, then you know you can expect the expenses to be uh, very affordable. And I think food also, it's very affordable. In fact, you can have a decent meal in uh, Japan if you're eating out within 500 rupees, you can expect to sit in AC restaurant and have a very delicious and healthy meal. Third is scholarships. There are plenty of scholarships available in Japan and these scholarships are available both at undergrad and master's level. For PhD also, there are very good stipends that are available. Most students, they know about MEX scholarship, which is a fully funded scholarship from the government. But apart from that, there are university scholarships also and these scholarships can range between 10% to 100% tuition reduction and there are some scholarships which also give you a stipend for living expenses. So all in all, these scholarships can be as good as a fully funded scholarship. There are other scholarships also which are called private scholarships. I'm tagging a video here which we recently did and there are these scholarships which help you to cover your living expenses as well. Another fact about Japanese universities is their university culture. The university culture in Japan is very different. For example, uh, you would be busy mostly in part-time jobs or cultural activities on campus. Uh, so most universities have tons of clubs, student clubs, and these clubs can be academic, sports oriented, they can also be cultural, and most students are part of these clubs and they spend most of the time out of their classroom or lab activity. When they are not doing that, they are busy with these club activities. Number five is about student accommodation. Parents are usually very worried about uh, student accommodation. They don't want uh, their children to be put outside the campus or too far from the campus. And I think Japan uh, 
is uh, very secure there because most universities they offer dorm facilities inside the campus. Some universities, if these facilities are not on campus, they will have arrangements near the campus. And these dorms, mind you, are fully furnished dorms. So all these international students, they can comfortably adjust when they are new students and they do not have to worry about arranging furniture and other facilities for themselves. So these are five things that we covered in this video that you must know before you consider Japan as a choice of higher education destination for yourself. In our next video, we will be talking about another five such facts. So stay tuned and if you like this content, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe the channel.